belt, rope and gear drives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define various drives, list out the advantages and limitations of belt, rope and gear drives. List out the applications of various drives. Bobby, who started his career as a fabric designer, was very much interested in designing new patterns and designs in fabrics. He usually spends a lot of time for creating new designs to stitch new garments. Even though his garments attracted many customers, he was not able to deliver them on time. As he took a lot of time to complete, he was very much worried about the production rate. He wanted to buy a machine to reduce his manual work and to increase productivity. At that time, he came to know about the newly invented sewing machine. With curiosity, he approached the seller. Hello, sir. I'm a fabric designer. I came to know about a newly launched sewing machine. I want to know about the working of this machine. Sir, I know you are a good fabric designer. This machine will help you to increase the production. This is the pedal. Uh, when you pedal this, it will create an oscillating motion. This motion will drive the wheel. Here, the oscillating motion is converted into rotational motion. For the power transmission from the wheel, that is, rotational motion to the machine, we are using a rope drive. The stitches are made by the threads inserted into the needle, which moves up and down. You can stitch the garment in your desired style. Bobby purchased the sewing machine. As years passed by, Bobby upgraded the rope drive to belt drive and later to gear drive for power transmission. He upgraded the drive to overcome the drawbacks of the existing drive and also to increase the productivity with the new advancements. We will discuss about each drive in detail with their advantages and limitations. Rope drives are widely used where a large amount of power is to be transmitted from one pulley to another pulley. There are two types of rope drives. They are fiber rope, wire rope, fiber rope. It is made up of fiber material such as manila, cotton, hemp, sea cell, coir or synthetic fiber. These fiber ropes are used for power transmissions up to 60 meters. Wire rope. Wire ropes are made up of steel wires. A number of thin wires are twisted to form a wire rope. These thin wires increase the strength of the rope. Wire ropes are used up to a distance of 150 meters. The advantages of rope drives are Large power can be transmitted by increasing the number of ropes. Rope drives are suitable for long distance power transmissions. Simple maintenance is sufficient. No noise during the functioning of the drive. The disadvantages of rope drives are Power loss due to slip. Constant speed ratio could not be maintained. Adjustment in center distance is mandatory. Wear rate is high for the wire rope pulley. This is the most commonly used method for transmitting power. In belt drives, two shafts are rotated by an endless thin belt running over two pulleys on the shaft. The pulley on the driving shaft is known as driver and the pulley on the other shaft is known as driven pulley or follower pulley where power is transmitted. Velocity ratio of belt drive. It is defined as the ratio of rotational speed of large pulley NL to the small pulley NS is equal to ds plus t by dl plus t into 1 minus s where ds is the diameter of the smaller pulley. DL is the diameter of the larger pulley. S is the belt slip and T is the belt thickness. Slip is the lack of frictional grip. This may cause some forward motion of the driver.
without carrying the belt with it. It is generally expressed as percentage. There are four types of belt drives. They are open belt drive, cross belt drive, quarter turn drive, right angle drive. Open belt drive. Two parallel shafts are connected by an open belt drive such that both the driver and follower shafts rotate in the same direction. It has two sides, namely tight side and slack side. Cross belt drive. Two parallel shafts are connected by belt pulleys such that the follower pulley rotates in the opposite direction to that of the driver pulley. Quarter turn drive. Two non-parallel and non-intersecting shafts can be connected by this type of belts and pulleys. To avoid the slip, the pulley B is made broader than the belt. The center line of belt near the pulley must lie in the central plane of that pulley. Right angle drive. The two non-parallel shafts are connected using an additional guide pulley to direct the belt and also to adjust the tension of the belt. When we consider the belt cross sections, it is classified as flat belt and V belt. In a flat belt drive, rim of pulley is slightly crowned, which helps to keep the belt running centrally on the pulley rim. In a V belt drive, grooves are made on the rim of pulley, so, slip is negligible due to the wedging action. In multiple V-belt systems, more than one belt on the pulley can be used to increase the power transmission capacity. Some of the advantages of belt drives are Belt is made up of flexible material. Initial cost is low. No need of lubrication. Noise and vibrations are less in belt drives. Some of the disadvantages of belt drives are Flat belt will slip over the pulley. Heat increases in the long run. Limited speed. Since the edges of the belt wear out fast, its life is short. Gears are toothed wheels. Teeth of driver gear engage in the teeth of follower gear for power and motion transmission. For obtaining desired speed, torque and direction of rotation, Gear trains of many gear wheels are used. Different types of gears are used for connecting shafts. They are spur gear, spiral gear, helical gear, beveled gear, worm and worm wheel, rag and pinion. Spur gear. When the axis and teeth of gear are parallel to the center line of gear, it is called as spur gear. Spiral gear. It is used to connect non-parallel and non-intersecting shafts. It is also called skew gear. These gears are suitable for small power transmission. Helical gear. Like spur gears, the axis of connecting shafts are parallel as well as non-parallel and non-intersecting. But the teeth are helical. Bevel gear. It is used for non-parallel and intersecting shafts. If the angle between the two shafts is 90 degrees, then it is called mitre gear. If the angle between the two shafts is less than 90 degrees, then it is called angular bevel gear. Worm and worm wheel. It is used to transmit power between two non-intersecting shafts, which are at right angles to each other. They are very compact compared to other gears. The worm is similar to a screw. Rag and pinion. Here the wheel is known as pinion and the one-sided straight threaded strip is known as rag. This assembly converts rotary motion into straight line motion. The advantages of gear drives are more efficiency than belt and rope drives. Last longer. Safe and compact. Suitable precision and accurate speed control. Smooth and noiseless operation. Useful for power transmission at short distances. 
The disadvantages of gear drives are very costly to manufacture. Inaccuracy in cutting teeth leads to vibrations and noise. Lubrication is needed. Let us list some of the applications of rope drives, belt drives and gear drives. Applications of rope drives. Rope drives are extensively used in elevators, overhead cranes, hoists and tower cranes. Applications of belt drives. Timing belt or cam belt systems are used in IC engines. Flat belts are used in treadmills, in conveyor systems. And V belts are also used in air compressors. Applications of gear drives. Gear drives are used in automobiles, industrial machinery, watches and clocks. Summary. In this lesson, you have learnt about different types of drives, advantages and limitations of various drives, applications of various drives.